Welcome back. Open Heart is a gripping new mi mystery series set against the backdrop of a hospital. At the center of the story is Dylan Blake, the rebellious daughter of a fractured family of doctors who uses her stint at a youth hospital to volunteer secretly to investigate the mysterious disappearance of her father. Take a look. It seems the police have decided to end their investigation. The police can't continue to pour resources into a case with no leads. So now we hire a private investigator. We're not going to do that, Dylan. Why not? This is a joke, right? Dad's still missing. He could be out there hurt or we we have to keep looking. Sweetheart. It... No, I don't get this. Why am I the only one who cares? Well, there's something you don't know. London. But someone needs to tell her. What? See the drama <laughs> unfold. Carrie's Cameron and Christine Prosperi join us now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Good guys. I loved watching your faces as you watch <laughs> that scene. What's going through your mind? I'm just really excited. You know, yeah. it premieres tonight, and I'm just so ready for it to be out there and for everybody to see it. So I'm just I'm excited. I want to know this. You both were on Degrassi. I was on Degrassi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But an honorary Degrassi, yeah, I feel like. Yeah. I feel right. like a part of the family. All right. Yeah. What did you learn from Degrassi that you take with you now for this new show? You know, I was on Degrassi for four years, so it mm -hmm. was a, a major learning experience for me. I got, out of, I got out, of, out of high school and I started the show. So being on there and working, you know, I, I learned a lot about my craft and I couldn't wait to move on to a different character to show that I could play, you know, a versatile character. So I was really excited. You two seem to have pretty good chemistry, and I imagine this is what you would need for a show like this, where it requires you and your friends to solve a mystery. Definitely. Were you friends beforehand? Did you have to develop that <laughs> over over time? Uh, we actually went to a few concerts before filming. Oh, nice. um, went to One Direction was our first one. And no way. to kind of bond yeah, and, and get hang that out. girlfriend chemistry, but. It was really fun, and she's yeah. from Vancouver, and I'm from here, so we kind of had to make our own chemistry, I guess, as best friends, and yeah. it worked out. Yeah, because so. that would never work, <laughs> Vancouver. We <laughs> no, 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 West Coast, West Coast, West Coast problem. <laughs> um, I'm wondering this. I mean, because I think of Degrassi, and I think of all the careers it's launched, and and it tells the story of young people, and it employs young people. Yeah. What advice do you have for young people right now who are, I want, I really, I'm just chomping at the bit to get into this business. Business. Yeah. How do you do it? How do you how do you get into the business and how do you stay sane? You know what? You just got to keep with it. I've been doing this since I was three years old. Commercials, wow. print, everything. Yeah. So yeah. it's been a long time coming. And when I got to Grassy, I finally found, I finally felt like you know what? This is my time. And it took a while, but I'm gonna do it now. And I'm ready. I'm old enough, and I'm ready. So I feel like just live through your childhood and figure it out. And then when you're 16, 17, and you want to know what you want to do for the rest of your life, maybe just try it out. Take some acting classes, but stick with it because. So many Sometimes people are going to say no. Sometimes it makes to 35, oh, 40, 45. <laughs> we know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Yeah. So when we were just started off this, uh, this clip right here, we saw the clip. You guys were watching each other. You were watching yourselves. Are you hard on yourselves? I feel like everybody's kind of hard on themselves mm -hmm. from watching yourself back. I try not to be. I try to look at you know, the positives. I'm like, oh, that, like, that, was, that was good. But I am hard on myself. Critical, right? Yeah. It's hard not yes. to be, right? It's hard yeah, not to no, be. No, like you mm -hmm. watching a performance back, I'm like, oh, I could have done that better. Mm -hmm. Especially watching the first episode compared to the last episode, you can see me as grow as an actor, yeah. for sure. So early in this craft, in this craft, I mean, you guys are going through so many things. Not just you know fashioning your career, but obviously just growing yeah. up and getting through adolescence. Are you finding that you, you're following the, the advice that don't ever watch yourself and just let, let yourself develop, or are you doing the opposite and watching every single take so that you can learn? And how does yeah. that affect your life outside of the job? I like watching every take. Yeah, I yeah. feel like watching myself, I learn a lot from it. I like some things I do and some choices I don't like, so I feel like yeah. watching myself, I learn a lot. And I feel like some people who don't watch themselves, maybe they're missing out a little bit because they could change something that they don't like. Yeah. Um, that's oh. how I feel, at least. No, I totally yeah. agree with that, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Open Heart premieres tonight on YTV. We will be watching. Yay. Karis Cameron <laughs> and Christine Prosperi, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank, thank you for having us. Congratulations, guys. <laughs>